Sunita, I, I didn't realise she was climbing uh, a bit higher than we were. She set off uh, at 7 o'clock at night and we set off at 8 o'clock. Uh, and then we slowly but surely caught up. And me and my Sherpa, we, we was uh, at the back of the, the line and we could see a bit of a, a commotion going on at the top. And we didn't realise it was Sunita and she was in trouble. Uh, some of my guys tried to help her and clip her into the safety line and that's when she slipped and fell uh, and she land, basically landed at my feet. Uh, we checked her over, she was in a, a very bad way, she had no oxygen, she was suffering from frostbite, looked like hypothermia. Uh, so what I did is I gave her my oxygen bottle, uh, to obviously to help her breathe, and we got, we got her sorted and we got her up and walking, but she was very tired, she was, she was all kinds of injuries, I think she, was, she had high altitude pulmonary edema, so she was coughing up a, a lot of bad things. Uh, her right hand was bad, very badly frostbitten. Uh, she was, like I said, she had hypothermia. She was shaking, and she didn't know where she was. She was, she was semi-conscious. So that's when I decided that I was going to sack my summit attempt and then, then bring Sunita back down to safety.